Because, because like, one bag. Awkwardly. What are you doing? You gotta stay in the boat. I awkwardly we just We need sitting. you to sit there, That's the though. Whole point. It's the important. It's the most important part. One boat, one bag. What happens when you go camping two nights in the jungle, starting out at night, by the way? It's going to be crazy. Apparently, there's panthers, there's bears, there's anacondas. There's a lot of stuff going on. I'm excited. Let's go. We got to get that on there. Yeah. This boat looks like it's already about to fall apart, right? What part of it? I can see it now. We're sinking. That's what's going to happen. No, we're good. I haven't sank yet. Well, maybe a little bit of morale. That's really not. Let's see. Oh, I think I pulled it here. This is like, is this what getting old is like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Things are starting to hurt a little bit easier. We got to get that boat on this car. <laughs> yeah, those are the tires for the trailer. <laughs> All right, now it's going to want to rock back and forth. No, nope, that's what the rack, rack, yeah, rack is trying to do. It'll still want to bounce one way. I mean, if we like move the tires down and we can put something here and just have it this way, and then strap it that way. Like just go ahead and have it halfway here, halfway there. Let's throw it on there like that and see how it looks. Okay, here you go. Uh, over here. But remember, we're gonna be putting the strap either around this way or around this way. So the boat's gonna be that way or it's gonna be this way? We'll put it around the back side right here. I'm just trying to have it because the boat is almost as wide as the car. I just want the tires to overhang just a little bit. I'm sure it's going to favor coming back this way anyways. So yeah. The goal is to keep it off of the car. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, grab it right here. <laughs> that might do, Jack. The fucking wind picks up and blows it off the side before we can ratchet it. I don't even think we need a strap. <laughs> <laughs> the tires, that the back tire is so. cool. Yeah, we need a bigger strap in there. Nah. Roll your back windows down. I'm gonna throw this one over here. Actually, let me see Don't that. throw it. Let's
Little man, little man, little man. I think you got that backwards. Is it? Yeah, because it's kind of ratchet inward. I'm good at getting them backwards every time. <laughs> now pull, uh, pull the strap. You move pull the strap back through here. Let's move your ratchet strap that way. Which way? That way. That closer, yeah, closer to the back. Because we want it to be here. That's partially, yeah. It's partially part of the video. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could fucking wrap it around here. It'll. All right, we found some speaker wire. We're gonna use that to give us some more tension. This is gonna work out. You know, surprisingly, your exhaust isn't hot. Just wrap it around the exhaust. Is that a pop? That, I think that's under. Just act normal, just act normal. I'm acting like there's a fucking boat strapped to the top of our car. And you just hit that so hard. It's still be one down here. There's nothing gonna happen. What are they gonna say? Unlawful use of transportation, transporting a boat? I feel like it's around exactly what That's they would fine. say. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're good. We might still have some sandbar left to camp at. Oh, shit. <laughs> Windows down. This is our paddle. The problem we're having is the river is insanely high right now. It's 8.30 at night and we have no idea where we're gonna camp. So we gotta get the boat in the water, get the stuff in there. It's gonna be an exciting trip. Let's go. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> Give her some leverage. Oh, okay. We got a couple inches. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, all right, I know this whole thing is. Is there a big fish dead? It's midnight. We got a full moon over there. Ryan is paddling his life away, and the current is about to be moving. Over there, look, it's full moon, right? It's only, okay, it is 8 p.m. It's pitch black outside. The river is at least 40 foot higher than it normally is. We found a giant dead fish. A giant dead fish. We barely got the boat in the water without breaking Fryan's foot. What could go wrong? <laughs> if we're gonna flip, this is the place to do it, man. <laughs> Look how fast the current is moving. The camera doesn't do it justice. Dude, the current is moving. 
Right. <laughs> You're not even going to be able to steer us out of dangerous ways with that little ass paddle. Huh? This isn't going well. We're going backwards. The current's going so quick. I told Ryan, I said, Ryan, we should wait till tomorrow to go out and do this. But he's like, no, it's going to be fine. And it's not fine. I'm glad Ryan knows where he's going. Actually, Ryan, we've done two circles. <laughs> we've done two whole circles, bro. There's definitely trees over there. I'm glad you can see that because <laughs> we're doing another circle, right? <laughs> Here's the thing. This boat is way too tippy and I can't control the balance of this thing. There's trees. Yep, definitely spiders. <laughs> no, we're doing <laughs> Ryan, bro, no. <laughs> no, don't chill battle. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God. Why am I in the front? Oh my god, I see a spider. I see a spider. Oh, I don't like spiders. We're only five seconds into this trip. Watch this, watch this. What happens if I quit, bro? <laughs> I can't even see. How are you doing back there, Ryan? Blind. <laughs> I didn't think about bringing anything to stop the boat. We just need to dock the boat. There's kind of a tree in front of us. Oh. If Ryan can paddle fast enough, we can go over there. The problem is, it looks like we're going to end up over there. All right, so it looks like we found a sandbar. We've been traveling for about three hours now. If Ryan will paddle faster, we'll make it. Go, Ryan. I see grass. We're going to be beached here. <gasps> now we're going to swim to shore, bro. Uh-huh. Are we able to park out here? Well, I mean, the worst case scenario is we just, whoever bought it, we tell them that we used to do this as kids and we didn't know that somebody privatized it. Or we just tell them it was midnight and we didn't know where we parked the boat. All right, bye-bye land. I'll miss you. Hopefully we can find land again. Oh my gosh, well, we're going right into the trees. Actually, actually I think it's more fun because Ryan's a genius. Can I see that? All right, we found some more land. She's beached. Well, we found land. Oh, don't flip the boat. <laughs> we can't flip. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's check out where where you can potentially camp oh this is a nice little spot over here i can see it now put the tent right here there we go um what are we gonna do about food we can fish yep all right, so it looks like we're going to go ahead and try to fish out there. The problem is the current's heavy, so we'll see if we catch anything. Let's set up the tip. Oh, that worked. All right, now we got to get all the stuff out of the boat, put it in the tent, and then we can start working on catching a fish, hopefully, because I'm hungry. Got some good old night crawlers for bait. Night crawlers are literally the best bait you could use for catching catfish. <laughs> the problems of fishing. I'm in the middle of the woods trying to find some firewood. I guess this is the better part of not being at a campsite. It's pretty easy to find dry firewood, even though it rained last night. That's some good wood. Well, it's a little wet. But we don't want a big fire anyways. We just want something small. By the way, tomorrow morning, we're going to be heading out and finding a different spot. This is just the closest thing we could find. And plus, it was probably the best thing to go ahead and stop now versus keep going down that river until we don't know where we're going. So tomorrow morning, we're going to get back up. We're going to go find something else. But let's get a fire started. Already got a nice little pile. What are y'all looking at? Look at that thing. I don't like spiders. My question is, how far do I want to wiggle my way through the woods before I go too far? Oh, here's a nice one. Oh, that's dry, baby. Probably plenty of wood if we want to just break this up. Pick it up, Justin. How do you feel about starting your own cartoon? What are the odds it lights this easy? You gotta push... <laughs> it's only purpose All right, here we go. Let's light the fire. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. It only rained last night. Yeah! It's, it's a little flame. Freaking starting fluid on that one. It's fire. a little flame. Ryan, what are you eating over there? Oh. <laughs> Ryan's over here eating freaking jerky. It's my only bag of jerky. It's funny. I was at a gas station. I was like, hey, should we get some bag of chips? He's like, no, we don't need no bag of chips. We're camping. Here he is eating my freaking jerky, this guy. And it's good. <laughs> I bet. I would like some too before it's all gone. Would you please quit holding that lighter down there? 
No, it's not. We're wasting all of our water. What is oh, going on here, bro? <laughs> Look at the smoke just pumping out of that fire. That's cool. That looks like, you ever seen those water fountains? That are ooh, ooh I can do a tornado. Oh, right there. Okay, that's starting to get up there. All right, so I brought a bag of food out here. The problem is that this food in here has no ice, so I kind of just hope it doesn't go bad. We got some eggs, we got some bacon, we got some cheese. You want Dr. Pepper? Dr. Pepper. But honestly, I'm thinking we're gonna save that food for tomorrow and in the morning, I think what we need to do is catch a fish. Hopefully that still happens. Drying off my chair real quick. <laughs> It's flame resistant. She's the, steaming, baby. That's the wet part down there. Oh. <laughs> roast, baby, roast. What? The real portion. So it doesn't do anything. I didn't put it around it before yeah. tying it up. That sucks. I love open face casts. The problem is those the other ones, what bay casters, every time I use them, it turns into a bird nest. Granted, I've only cast it out like three times. Got <coughs> bird nested three times, too. What would help if you didn't smash it against the hook? <laughs> it's not, it's not even supposed to be long enough. I would just cut it. Yeah. And it is what it is. Here, I'll... Yeah, I'm going to go sit by the fire. My light! Darn it. Got a nice little fire there doing all the fishing. I got me a beautiful bag of Doritos and, and a Dr. Pepper. This is life, baby. This is what camping's all about. The fire's looking nice. Got my whole boat registration on the side. Is that a bad thing? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> At least the fire looks nice. <laughs> this is our sleeping arrangements for the night. Are you comfortable, Ryan? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that cold out. We're gonna go to night night. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. <laughs> Bro, I am so tired. Mm -hmm. I woke up so many times last night. Mm -hmm. Can you snore tomorrow, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm gonna snore today. Tomorrow. How did you go from snoring to waking up that fast? Right. Mm -hmm. It's morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I heard the world's biggest fish jump in the water. I swear a whole human being jumped into that lake last night. I heard kablonk. <laughs> Alligators just be flopping in the water these days? Yeah, you hear that loud, bro. I think y'all are asleep. <sighs> you know, in the distance, you just hear. Yeah. No. Good morning. Wow. <laughs> it, looks, it looks so majestic. Oh, what are your shoes? It's gonna suck putting them on. The shoes are wet? We should cook our shoes. We might need to start a fire back up. We need to get downstream first. At least we can see. Good news, we survived the first night. I heard a couple of owls and bears and tigers and stuff screaming out last night, but look how high the river is. Now that we can see, pretty nice. What is, do oh, that fish! It's do it again, do it again, jump, yeah! <laughs> I caught it on camera. You know what the funny part is? I think the boat ram's right over there. <laughs> you can see where the water's coming out. All right, we gotta pack up, get in the water, and we gotta go find a new campsite. Problem is everything's wet and it's cold. Campsite is now clean. Now we need to go find a new camping spot. Should be fun. There's my humble mode. Go, Justin. Go, Justin. Go. <laughs> it's so cold. Go. Hi. Come on. The fall. The fall. 
<laughs> yes, man. This is probably the best part about only having one paddle. I ain't got to do nothing. <laughs> Ryan, our life is in your hands again. <laughs> the boot scooting boogie to get us off. <laughs> you know, you know that one girl with the chair and the light for the park. He freaking paddle over there. Ryan looks like he just got out of a business meeting. <laughs> we couldn't see a dang thing last night. I'm glad we found that area to chill out at. I honestly just want to stop and make some breakfast. Cook some bacon, you know what I mean? Kind of hungry. Day one, we're cold, we're shivering, shivering. We're trying to find some new land. Um, so far, things are not going so well. Com just for comparison, y'all see how high the river is right now. Yeah, it's not underwater. Not underwater. There goes a pigeon. Best view in the house, baby. That current is moving, son. Maybe we can paddle that way. Sideways. <laughs> I don't want to go to the trees, Papa. He's like, I go back over. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. That water is moving. Imagine being put into there. We're good. Let's look like it's. Dude, the current gets more right around yeah, this tree. Uh, like eight, eight, eight. Yes. <laughs> Yo, the river is so freaking high. <laughs> that so, feels so freaking good, man. <laughs> it's so cold outside. <laughs> uh, he instantly put that paddle down. Oh, <laughs> I feel like a turtle. I easily just picked up five miles per hour. <laughs> this oh, river is God. moving. Just Imagine if I just gonna right now. <laughs> Look at that water. Holy <laughs> shit. Family channel, sorry for cousin. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, boy. We're going to beat you, Mr. Stick. Just you wait. We ain't going to get anywhere with them types of paddle stroking. How bad? It looks like... This is our GPS. Oh, boy. That's the sandbar we're looking for. If that sandbar is actually there or underwater, I don't know. If you ain't spinning in circles while canoeing, boating, what are you actually doing? It'd be nice to build a nice little house pontoon boat. Me and Ryan can get on that and build us a little pontoon it boat. It doesn't matter if the sandbar's going or not. <laughs> yeah, that is the sandbar, baby. It doesn't say no trespassing. We could. Trespass. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do that. <laughs> There's like two people living in there. <laughs> They're like, are you here for rent? <laughs> All right, so right around that corner, that's where the sandbar is um, supposed to be. But it might not actually be there. The sun is coming. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, that feels so good. It's so nice. There's a houseboat on the sandbar. <laughs> that's not good, bro. Where are we going to go now? <laughs> no, it doesn't say we're at the sandbar yet. Land is underwater. I'm loving the houseboats here. This is where the sandbar is. Oh no. I see a little bit of land. That's the sandbar. There's no there's there's yeah. a there's a sandbar. There's a sandbar. Exactly. Gotta get over there, right? Get over there! Paddle like your heart desires! What do you want? Do you want bacon? Do you want eggs? I'm not even hungry, I just want to get on the land. <laughs> This is happening. No, I, I would help you paddle, but uh, lift your, lift okay. your hand. Use your hand. Spin Simple. us around and reverse us in. What are you doing? If we miss this, there's no going. It's pretty nice to see land. Well, not much of it, but land. Yeah, there's like nothing here. I know. <laughs> it used to be like a little island over here. We beached, baby. We beached. All right, so we finally found a place to dock. The sandbar wasn't completely underwater. Well, it pretty much is. Um. Dude, firewood sucks here. Firewood sucks here. Let me show you why. All these bushes here 
have so many thorns on it and they're covering the entire area so like walking to go get firewood is going to be so horrible and it's not like we can get in the water and go over there our little boat was barely able to make it over here but our goal is to get a fire going get breakfast going get everything set up um it's gonna be fun but yeah we got to get to the fire part first all right so we just got to the campsite i got a whole pack of bacon on there mostly because i thought i didn't have a knife to cut it up but i found a fillet knife so i do have a fillet knife but we're gonna go ahead and cook the whole pack of bacon because i got a whole nother pack in there and ryan's attempting to catch a fish I think the biggest problem we're gonna face is finding firewood <laughs> because we're gonna have to walk so far into the woods through a bunch of vines and all sorts of crap, man. Ah, the other campsite had so much more wood. It was so much easier. Honestly, if you could be out in the woods camping and get that kind of breakfast, it's pretty solid. Honestly, what could be better than this? We got bacon, I got eggs, and I got hash browns all out here in the woods. Got a nice stack of firewood over here. We got a nice little stove. This is nice. This is real nice. Normally it's about 20 feet past that. Normally that's all the way where the sandbar is. <laughs> Wait, so usually that tree's not even underwater? No, I've put up hammocks in between those trees and went camping. That's crazy. Ow! This is gonna take forever. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. I'm I'm sweating, um, and this is the, all the firewood we got. Uh, it's not much firewood, is it? Those are a couple logs right there. I think this is the hardest part about camping is finding firewood, at least when there's just not any firewood anywhere to get. Here we go. Oh, I thought I was a spider, bro. I've already had ginormous ants attacking me. There's so many holes in this log. I'm sure there's spiders, man. <sighs> this is higher, okay. This is higher than two feet over there. No, it 100% is. I mean, either we leave or we stay. <laughs> the problem is the water's over there and it's supposed to rise like another two and a half foot. And right where I'm standing is about two and a half foot um, above that elevation over there. So we're worried that in the middle of the night, water's just going to come up here and we're going to be screwed. The problem, though, is the current's going so hard right now. If at night we decide we want to leave, we got to get around this tree over there without going in there and flipping over because that current is moving and we don't want to get stuck out here. So our options are tie ourselves to a tree or leave now. We're probably gonna stay. All I see is freaking tall grass, man. Like imagine a real survival scenario where you're stuck somewhere for like three or four months and you gotta get firewood all the time, dude. Oh boy. At least the last camping spot that we were at, there was wood everywhere. This place, there's just nothing. I can't even figure out where to walk. Hey, at least there's berries. Okay, so I think we figured out what we're gonna do. Because all that water is gonna raise up and be about level with all this, our best bet is to flatten this out right here. And then hopefully the water doesn't go that high. So we need to flatten that area out. The problem is there's a bunch of thorns and crap all over the place, so we gotta clean it out. So let's go. Well, at least the boat's not heavy. Uh, well, at least the boat's not heavy. Yeah. <laughs>
outside might be a little bit. All right, mostly Ryan, but I helped a little bit, but we got a little area over here cleaned out to put the, uh, the tent on. I'm honestly really surprised that this thing survived the, uh, the whacking journey it just had over there. We got a tent, baby. New location. Hopefully we're not swimming in the morning. Okay, so I'm walking around. I got to do something that I never want to do in the woods, but look what I found. I found freaking berries, man. I don't think you want to eat the red ones, but I think the purple ones are ready to eat. I'm pretty sure this is a blackberry and it's safe to eat. Ooh, that's good. I went to go eat another berry and there's a whole spider on that thing. That's fine. I think I got plenty of protein. There's actually so many of them over here. It's kind of cool. Look at that one. I really hope these are safe to eat, man. I might actually make some kind of blackberry jam. It tastes good. That'll do. I was carrying this freaking log and I about died, man. Look how big them ants are, bro. Please don't be on my back. <laughs> Getting firewood is dangerous. Oh my gosh. I'm all alone. No one here besides me. Where's my Dr. Pepper? These are the fun moments about camping. You kind of just sit down, watch the river. I wish we had some firewood. Fire would be nice, but um, getting a nice little tan going on. I'm getting pretty freaking white, man. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Look at that little bird. Look at them film skills, boy. Hey. <laughs> That's the one right there. That's the fish. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Let's go, baby. Caught a stick. So I just wanna say for proof, Ryan is the one sleeping. Not me, not Justin. Ryan is the one sleeping. All right, so I'm thinking this pork tenderloin is gonna be dinner tonight. Problem is it's solid, solid frozen. So I kind of need it to de-thaw within the next couple hours. Swim! I'll come back and get that. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and make me some sausages because I'm hungry. All right, so these are the sausages I'm going to be using. I've never had these before. Mild smoked sausage. Um, premium, baby. I've never had these, but uh, they look good, so I figured I'd get them. All right, let's put them on the grill. The reason why I'm cooking them on this thing is because we don't have a lot of firewood and I still want to try and cook the pork tenderloin over the fire, but that might not go so well. It'll be interesting though. That looks nice. Looks like some kind of Wagyu steak, bro. I ran away for a second to grab a napkin. These might be burnt. Please don't be burnt. Please don't be burnt. That's perfect. Turn her off. <laughs> That's hot, dude. Ooh, let's do this. Yep, this one turned out a little, little extra crispy, but hey. I like them that way. If I had a nice little tortilla with me, this would be it. I'm hoping this video is somewhat entertaining for y'all. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing my best to edit videos, film videos. It's definitely a learning experience. It's a lot different than TikTok where I started making videos, obviously, but I'm having fun. I think that's the whole goal is just to come out, have fun, do a little camp admission. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. I hope y'all are enjoying the videos. If you're enjoying the videos, just let me know below, but this is a lot of fun for me. Maybe not eating burnt sausage though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I enjoy it. It's just a little, it tastes a little charcoal -y. All right, let's light the match. This is gonna work out nicely. Throw on some bigger stuff. Wow, that's hot. I got one shot at this. Please don't go out. <laughs> Swoosh. I know it's freaking hot. All right, let's get the big stuff on there now. Come on, please turn into coals. Here's the pork tenderloin. She's got some onions, tomatoes. We got some garlic over there. I'm gonna put some butter in with it. Um, I don't exactly know how this is gonna taste with tomatoes. Oh, we also got bacon over there. This is gonna be crazy. We're putting it on that fire over there. Hopefully it turns out good. But first we gotta wrap it up. So. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the beautiful pork tenderloin on the fire, right? 
We've got it going. Um, to be honest, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. One, I got tomatoes on there. I don't really like things that taste like straight tomato, but there's also onions in there. So maybe it tastes tomato-y, onion-y, but then I was like, well, maybe you should add some garlic. So I added some garlic on there to add a little extra flavor. We added some seasoning, even got a little bit of Italian seasoning on there. There's a lot going on. Um, yeah, I hope it comes out edible. I also hope I don't burn it. I also hope I don't leave a bunch of holes in the foil. I don't know. There's a lot of ifs and there's a lot of hopes, so hopefully it turns out good. He lost his hat. <laughs> he was driving by and the hat just flew off. <laughs> see if he gets it. Is he gonna get it? First try? That current's moving, boy. Hey! Dude, just look at that boat, man. It's just drifting. No, the waves are coming up to our freaking fire, bro. All right, so we had a few issues. Opened it up. She wasn't fully cooked, so now we got her on the the stove but it smells pretty good all right bad news the water has come up at least five feet since we've been here so we're gonna go ahead and load up the boat and get out of here because i think if we stay here any longer this whole area is going to be covered there's a lake over there and this over here there's the river over there the river over here so if we stay here we're probably going to be swimming tomorrow morning so we're going to go ahead and head out before it's too late <laughs> is it going ready one two three go <laughs> the way i look right now is absurd <laughs> The boat? Basically, ready? Yeah. Okay, here's the problem. Gilbert. I just get in. How the fuck am I gonna get in? You think we'll be able to scoot it out like this? Yeah. You got this stick, I got this paddle. We'll go to get out. Stupid man. Can you put yourself to the side. I don't know. One, two, three, go. We're moving. Okay. Yeah. I think stop. We're going. Push. Ready? Go. <laughs> okay. Uh, you want to go back to what we were doing before? Okay, ready? Yep. <laughs> She's <laughs> moving. <laughs> so, hold on. My hips. <laughs> How are we not completely in? There's the front, the nose. Hmm. We're getting there. Mama. Yeah. God dang, bro. Yeah. I'm glad I brought a stick. Oh, shit. I only got maybe one more push if I can, so you got to make it. I think we're gonna get it. <clears throat> Man, you gotta push for that. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Should be good, no? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> 
slight problem. See that bridge all the way down there? That's where the landing is. <sighs> Hopefully we make it. Be good. I don't think we're gonna make it. Oh, Look at that. There's a fucking drop off thing. We're not gonna hit it. Huh? <laughs> Just get ready to hit that front one. Oh, We're gonna hit right. We might need to go that way. I'm going. <laughs> yeah. I'm around it, but now it's getting over there to that lane. I think it's spinning in one direction. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're moving. Hey, you're helping. Paddle, buddy. Paddle. Paddle. Yours is stronger than mine. You're going to flip us. We're just doing circles. We're going to make it. We made it. We landed. Now we got to get over there. All right, we made it to land safely. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Good video, bye. If y'all want more videos like this, let me know. Hopefully the next one won't be so too much water. Just a quick update. We left the boat. We're still walking. It's been three hours. <laughs>